Governor Abbott of Texas assembles a supply chain strike force to create locally made stockpiles of automatic ongoing supplies to help healthcare workers as needed. Kathleen Gregorio in Corpus Christi, Texas, has the details. Thank you, Ken. Howdy from the Lone Star State. Here in Texas, we have a total of 96,258 tests that have been conducted for COVID-19. And Governor Greg Abbott stated that maybe even by tomorrow, we will cross 100,000 tests totally, uh, total uh, conducted. And of the ones that have been tested, a total of 9,107 confirmed positive with 1,491 hospitalized and a total of 175 fatalities. The, gover the governor mentioned Wednesday at his press conference that more testing is planned. In fact, he announced that Walgreens, Texas may provide drive through testing for COVID-19. The pharmacies will utilize Abbott Labs 15 minute response test kits and can possibly conduct 3000 tests per day. He also announced just this week, the supply chain strike force he had assembled accomplished distributing 5 million masks across the state, as well as 21,066 beds, 2,225 ICU beds, and 7,686 ventilators to Texas hospitals. The governor also stated two Texas businesses will be helping to contribute to the ongoing automatic stockpile of personal protective equipment that will be readily available for frontliners. One of those companies, Prestige Ameritech, a Texas-based company, will be running a 24-hour operation at the former Kimberly Clark manufacturing plant in Fort Worth. This will be staffed partly by members of the Texas National Guard, which, with, which plans to produce an average of about 2 million masks per week. Also in San Antonio, the governor stated that Reyes Automotive, a supplier for the Toyota uh, manufacturing company, will create 5,000 face shields per day for frontliners in Texas. Regarding the impact of the pandemic on our economy, the Texas Workforce Commission reported a record-breaking rise in calls to their benefits claims line. The highest number happened on March 26, with about 1.7 million calls received in one day. The average number of phone calls a day for the TWC is 120,000. I can only imagine the kind of on-hold music callers had to endure. But the governor assures the public that more staff will be added to the Texas Workforce Commission to help expedite those claims. He emphasized the motto, Texans helping Texans. And he really, in his speech today, he really rallied the Texas residents, businesses, organizations to do all they can to lend a helping hand now during the pandemic, just as they did before in the past during Hurricane Harvey. From Corpus Christi, Texas, I'm Jane Kathleen Gregorio, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you in the studios. Kat, thank you.